Okay, so we're demonstrating the EOS 60 Wi-Fi feature, and uh, today we're talking about the EOS Remote app that is going to be available for both uh, Android and iOS. Uh, this will work with both smartphones and tablets. And as a first step, uh, in the beginning, generally speaking, we're going to have the Q button on the camera that gets us to the setting screen and allows us to enable the Wi-Fi function to connect to the smartphone. And we hit, hit connect. And once that happens, then we're going to come over to the smartphone and get to the front uh, desktop and locate the EOS remote. When we hit the EOS remote, it starts up the app. And the uh, status bar up here tells us that we're now connected to the camera. And essentially, this EOS remote app has two basic functions. One is remote shooting, and the other one is camera image viewing. So we'll begin with the remote shooting. And that'll provide us with a live view from the camera. So as we move the camera around, for example, this, this is going to move around with it. And I'm going to throw the focus way out, because I want to show you that uh, I can move the focus point and I can also focus the lens. So let's move the focusing point back over here just by tapping, double tap to get a higher magnification view. And then I have a button right below here where I can actually focus the lens. So now I've got my in-focus shot. If I want to come back out to the full view, I can now fire the shutter right from here. Now that's my basic operation for taking a picture. If I decide I'd rather uh, change some of the camera settings, then I push this button right here. And in manual mode, for example, I'll be able to change my shutter, my aperture, or my ISO right from the phone. So for example, with the ISO, there's a slider scale. And I can just move it all the way down to automatic, for example, if that's what I prefer, or anywhere else on manual that I like. Once I've got that, then I hit the uh, back button, essentially, to get back to the regular screen. And I'm able to uh, go ahead and, uh, and shoot. Now once the images have been captured on the camera, the next thing that we need to do is to go to the camera image viewing part of the EOS remote app. So we're coming back to the home page on, this, on the app and then we hit camera image viewing. And we're gonna see uh, an illustration at that point of the thumbnails that are in the camera. This is right off the camera's memory card, not what's in the phone right now. Now the display I'm seeing here is basically the thumbnail with EXIF data. I also have the option of going into a, a, a regular index where I don't see the exit data, just see the thumbnails themselves. That's up to you, however you like to do it. If I have an individual shot that I want to examine, I just click it once. And at that point, I'm able to do the pinch to zoom it up and see you know, the detail, whether that's satisfactory for my needs. And what I'm looking at right here is the embedded JPEG that's in the uh, file in the camera. And if I want that file to be transferred from the camera to the phone, I press the download button in the lower left corner. And now that image is in the phone. But in the process of doing that, uh, the uh, software has functioned to actually resize the file down to 1920 by 1280. So even if I had shot raw or full uh, large JPEG, what comes into the phone is only going to be the 2.5 megapixel 1920 by 1280. If I wanted to transmit wirelessly at full res, then I'm better off going from the Wi-Fi instead of the smartphone into the notebook computer directly or into a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, where I can go up into the web, into the Canon Image Gateway, which is a free storage that uh, we offer. So, uh, so basically, this is the standard operation for getting images into the phone. And then once they are in the phone, uh, then you can use the cellular capability of the phone no matter where you are as long as you've got cellular service to be able to then uh, upload those images to your favorite social network. So getting back to the, uh, the, the home page screen on this is a matter of pressing this button here. That gets us to the index and gets us back here. So a, a pretty uh, straightforward application here and uh, pretty easy to operate. As I mentioned, it will be available for both uh, Apple iOS as well as the Android system and works with smartphones as well as tablets. Uh, it should be out at the same time the camera starts to ship, which we hope is uh, uh, early in the month of December.